Hello, bonjour. I'm Karen McGrath and I'm very proud to be the President and CEO of Horizon Health Network. And this is my second staff video. Um, I'm very committed to communicating with you in this mechanism and with other mechanisms as well. Today, I'm actually here at the Fredericton Downtown Community Health Centre. It, in fact, is the latest community health centre um, in Horizon. And quite frankly, it's quite beautiful here um, and committed to serving the needs of the population of the Fredericton um, area. Over the last three months, I've been in the community uh, visiting our sites, uh, visiting our um, hospitals, and um, am really impressed, quite frankly, by the quality of care that we provide here um, at Horizon. I'm also very proud of our staff um, and their commitment to actually providing the best quality care that they can. My commitment to you is for you to give you opportunities to actually express that commitment to quality care um, and to understand where we're going uh, in the future. The second thing that I've been actually quite impressed by is the number of volunteers that we have here um, in the Horizon. About 1,700 volunteers um, share that commitment to providing quality um, of care um, to our residents and that is quite frankly that is extremely endearing uh, to me and I'm sure to the population of uh, New Brunswick. One of the things that I asked you in terms of communication was to send me any questions that you might have uh, in terms of uh, where we're going. Um, and uh, so you have. And so today I'm going to answer numbers of those questions. So let's get going and uh, provide answers to the questions that you have. Donna Carter, a speech-language pathologist at the Moncton Hospital, had a question about parking. She shared that concern with many of the staff at the Moncton Hospital. And I'd love to tell you I have an easy answer to this question, but there is no real easy answer to this question. You know how challenged we are with space around the Moncton Hospital to get resolution to this issue. We're investigating a number of options uh, in terms of uh, both acquiring other property, um, also considering things like parking, garages, uh, but all of these options, I have to tell you, will take time. So um, the frustration is likely to continue for a period of time until we come um, to a resolution uh, to this matter. But I can tell you it is clearly on our agenda and we're working actively to try to resolve it. So a question was asked by Jolene Holland, a medical transcriptionist at the St. John Regional Hospital. She wanted to know about uh, Sodexo, um, the move to Sodexo and what I thought about that uh, matter. This was also a question that was asked numbers of times uh, on my tours. So personally, I do think that the move to Sodexo will improve the quality of care in terms of housekeeping, dietary services and portering that we provide at Horizon. As you know, many of our patients have been very, very dissatisfied with the quality of food and also concerns about the cleanliness of our facilities. And that's not to say our facilities are not clean. They're just not perceived to be very clean. So Sodexo is an organization that is focused on these services. They understand the quality and safety that needs to go in a provision of these services. We, in fact, at Horizon are not experts in this area. We're experts in the providing of quality medical and health care. So I do believe that we will actually improve the quality of services that we provide here at Horizon by moving to an expert to provide these services. So a question comes from Dr. Al-Sharif, who is an ER physician at the Upper River Valley Hospital. And he's concerned about the overcrowding in our emergency rooms. I think we have a number of initiatives that are addressing overcrowding in our emergency rooms. One of them that I can identify for you is the Why Wait campaign in our Moncton Hospital. Overcrowding is a result of numbers of issues. Um, and while we're focused on solutions to the problem, there also is an issue of access to primary care, which we have to try to resolve here at Horizon. So it's a complex problem. I think we have many sites that are starting to work on it, and hopefully the learnings from these sites can be transferred to other sites. 
As I went throughout Horizon, a number of staff were concerned about the movement of the extramural program to Medivy. This is a discussion that is going on currently at the Department of Health about transferring the extramural program to uh, Medivy. At this point, there are no concrete answers um, to the question in terms of when will it happen, how will it occur. Uh, discussions are continuing um, to go on and answers to these questions are emerging. I am committed to letting you know as soon as I know when there are more substantive answers to these issues. Right now, we do know we have a high-level committee that includes representatives from Horizon, Vitalite, Medivy, and the Department of Health looking at this issue. So Andrea Atchison from the Charlotte County Hospital asked me if I'd like to be involved in the Heart and Stroke Foundation's Big Bike Ride in September. And the answer to that, Andrea, is I'd love to. See you in September. Also, I'd like to say that I hope you found the answers to these questions valuable. In upcoming videos, I'm prepared to answer any questions that you may have. So please don't forget to send in uh, questions that you'd like me to address in these videos. I hope you found it uh, a invaluable way for me to communicate with you, and I certainly will continue to enjoy communicating through this mechanism and others.